Hi guys, how are you today? New video in English and another video to talk about how to think in English. Today, we are going to think about the things we like and the things we dislike. I really like making this kind of video. Um, I really believe that thinking in English is key not only to help you achieve that fluency level, but also to help you improve vocabulary and, above all, gain more confidence, become a more confident speaker. Because once your brain is trained, once you, you, you prepare your brain for, certain, for some kinds of conversations, by the time you actually have to talk to someone about them, you will feel more confident because you will remember things more easily. That's why this kind of exercise is so good for you. And the best thing about it, it's free and you can do this exercise from wherever you are. Either you are on the bus, going to work, walking, uh, on a five minute break, anytime, anywhere. And you also have the option of making this exercise easier or more difficult. It's up to you. It's up to your English level. So the more advanced you are, the more challenging this exercise can become. The more um, beginner, the lower your level is, the easier you need to make this exercise. So it all comes down to your level. So if you are a beginner, you need to use simple words, simple expressions, short sentences. On the other hand, if you are an intermediate speaker or an advanced one, what are you waiting for? Make long sentences, complex uh, ideas, try to find different words and vocabulary. It's all, it's all about the level. And one thing that you have to keep in mind, remember, this exercise should be short. Five minutes is more than enough. What you can try doing is, try doing this exercise for a short period of time, like five minutes, but do it more times a day. So you can do five minutes in the morning, five minutes uh, in the afternoon, and five minutes at night, or twice a day. So uh, try to do it for a short period of time, but more frequently. And remember, be consistent with the frequency and amount of time that you dedicate for this exercise. Now, before you start doing this exercise mentally, you need to sit down and write on a piece of paper or on your phone a list of things that you like and dislike. Another thing I want to show you today on this video is some suggestions of different verbs we can use when we want to talk about things we like and dislike. Some of you probably already know these verbs. However, when we, have, when we are talking to people, we have a tendency uh, to forget these verbs and focus on like and don't like very much. So we use them very much and we forget other options. So today I'm going to try to explore these other options. I'm not saying that you should not use like or don't like in the negative, but uh, try to explore different options, okay? First, let's focus on the activities uh, we like, okay? I chose a few ones, of, um, I chose a few things I like doing. So I wrote them down like workout, go to the park, listen to music, watch TV series uh, or movies. Now, I picked these four activities and after I chose them, I also wrote next to these activities a little bit of explanation uh, to why I like them or a compliment, just to, to compliment the idea of the activity I like. I will show you. For example, work out. Work out every day, good to be healthy. Go to the park, relaxing, see different people. Listen to music, all the time, fun, feel good. Watch movies and TV series. Prefer series, but sometimes watch movies. So why did I write this phrase? And they are not uh, completely structured, okay? These are just key words to help me remember what I need to think about. All right. So I wrote this because it's always important to know why you like something, you know, like uh, not the, the explanation uh, to someone, but when you are speaking consequently, someone will ask you, oh, why do you like to listen to music? Uh, it may seem very obvious, but it's good for your vocabulary to gain more words, to learn more words, to be able to express yourself. That's why this is a good exercise. So I wrote only keywords to help me remember what I want to think about, okay? Now let's see uh, what I wrote for my dislikes. Doing housework and the compliment, the explanation, lazy. Watching soap operas, not interesting. 
wake up early, not a morning person. So I wrote three things I don't like and I tried to write some kind of compliment to this activity and now I am going to mentally build these sentences in a way that I can uh, actually have a conversation with someone at some point when I need to. Let's see how it goes. I like doing many things. For example, I love working out. I work out every day because it's good to be healthy. I also enjoy going to the park. It's relaxing and I see many different people. Another activity I really love is listening to music. I really appreciate listening to music because it makes me feel good. I'm also crazy about TV series and movies. I prefer TV series, but sometimes I watch movies. Now, if you ask me about what I don't like doing, that's pretty easy. I hate doing housework. I think it's because I'm a little lazy. I'm not a big fan of soap operas either. I don't know, they are not interesting. And I absolutely hate waking up early. I'm not a morning person. Now guys, observe the verbs I used. Observe that I also used um, adverbs and some expressions. For example, I said, I'm not a big fan instead of saying, I don't like. So you don't always have to use the verb like to express that you like or that you don't like. So I'm not a big fan of soap operas. I do not like watching soap operas because they are not interesting. So because I have more vocabulary, I can make more sentences. But take a look at my examples here. Pay attention at the way I uh, structured my, my sentences and use it as a model. Use it as an example for you to build your own sentences. I also used, when I, when I was saying that, uh, that I really liked uh, TV series, I said, I am crazy about TV series. You know, it's a way to say that I really love it. I really like it. I'm crazy about TV series. I watch them all the time. And my compliment was very simple. I prefer TV series, but sometimes I watch movies. Why do I ask you, why did I ask you to write some compliments? Because if you don't, it'll be like this. I like TV series. I like going to the park. I love listening to music. And in the real world, that's not how we work. We, we have to say more things. We have to make more, to give more compliments and explanations. That's why you need to think of some uh, things to say uh, besides the activities, all right? Now, what I'm gonna ask you to do is think about the things you like and dislike and write down um, and write them down on the comment section. I will take a look at them and give you some suggestions of vocabulary to help you do this exercise. So you can write them down on the comment section. I will take a look at the things you wrote and give you some suggestions of other things you can add to the things you already wrote. What do you think of this video? Leave a comment and tell me what you thought about it, all right? Don't forget to share this video with your friends and click on the like button, okay? Well, guys, thank you very much and I'll see you next time.